Okay, the first podcast of the series told you about Turnitin in general. Now we will have a look at how to get started on the program specifically. We have licenses for each one of our registered students in the Department of Communication Science and we have created class lists with your name on it. In light of this, your portal into the world of Turnitin is the email that the program sends to your My Life student account as soon as your name is entered onto the class list. Now the email should look something like this. As you can see, you have two main options. You can either enter Turnitin student training or you can log in and start using the program. So once you are ready to start using the program, click on this very first link that appears in the email. Once you do, it should take you through to Turnitin's home page. At the type, top right hand corner of this page, you will see these options. It's here that you should enter your My Life email address, only this email address. Remember, Turnitin communicates with you through your My Life email address. And also the password that was provided for you on your email. So these are case sensitive, so we suggest that you copy and paste them directly into the home page. Okay. Like this. And once you have that down, you can click on sign in. You will be taken right through to the setup page where you can set up your account. Your email address should already appear here and now you can choose a password that you will remember in future. And just confirm it right below. Next, you have to uh, um, select a security question, something that's easy to remember. This would be mine. And then you have to enter your first name. Now, here's something very important. You have to enter your student number as your first name to make sure that Turnitin recognizes you and your work each time. Now, there may be a whole lot of John Smiths in a class, but no one will have the same student number. So, we need you to have your student number as your first name. Only your student number, no spaces. And then your last name can stay your own. Once you're ready, you can click on Next to progress. After this, you can read through the user agreement of Turnitin, and if you agree, you can click on I agree to continue. And once you have done so, and the program has stopped thinking, you will be taken through to the University of South Africa's classless page. Now, your class list might look different from mine over here, depending on what you are registered for, what modules, the time of the year, etc. But whatever the case may be, just click, click on the applicable class name. In my case, it will be training for July. And it should open up all the applicable modules and their assignments for you. Now, all of the instructions regarding this page are summarized for you by the program. And it states over here, this is your class homepage. To submit an assignment, click on the Submit button to the right of the assignment name. If the Submit button is grayed out, no submissions can be made to the assignment. If resubmissions are allowed, to, the Submit button will read Resubmit after you make your first submission to the assignment. To view the paper you have submitted, click on the View button. Once the assignment post date has passed, you will also be able to view the feedback left on the paper by clicking on the View button. Now, although the submission process will be the same for all modules, not all of the functionalities, for example, the option to resubmit, will be. Just be sure to consult MyUNISA for more information regarding the Turnitin program and what is applicable for each one of your modules, respectively. What I do quickly want to show you is what an active and inactive resubmit button will look like. Okay, so if, this, if the assignment is accepting submissions, it will be a blue button. 
If it is not submitting submissions yet, or if the due date has passed, it will be grey and you will not be able to submit. Alright, well, now you're ready to submit your work and the next tutorial will talk about submitting your work on Turnitin and taking the process forward.